Turning to developments in Egypt this Sunday, fierce clashes have broken out between Muslim Brotherhood supporters and anti-Morsi protesters across the country, leaving at least 15 people dead. Pitched battles have broken out in several areas of Cairo after people gathered for the 40th anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, which was Egypt's last conflict with Israel. And let's go live to Artie's belt true in Tahrir Square. Bell, nice to see you. So I spoke to you just a couple of days ago, and sadly you are predicting what's going on there right now. Uh, please tell us how this latest deadly uh, violence erupted. Well, absolutely. It's been very chaotic here in the capital as violence erupted in multiple locations uh, across, uh, across Cairo. I was actually in the clashes in Giza. What basically happened was the Muslim Brotherhood supporters and also those who want ousted President Mohamed Morsi to return to office were attempting to march on Tahrir Square, where I am right now. Uh, but they were prevented to, uh, by security forces who shot tear gas um, and bird shot bullets at them uh, in the various different marches. They tried to congregate on this square. Right now here, as you can hear in the background, is an extremely boisterous uh, celebration of the 1973 uh, war with Israel uh, by supporters of the military. And this is something that the military wanted to protect. The president himself, Adli Mansour, actually called called for people to come to the streets and celebrate what he said was a national day of pride. Um, and they didn't want to see Muslim Brotherhood people here or support of Mohamed Morsi causing trouble. So, what, I mean, I was basically there on the streets and it was extremely bloody. Uh, there were lots of people being dragged off the front lines um, with quite uh, severe injuries, in addition uh, to being beaten quite heavily uh, by people who were uh, mingling with the security forces and support of the military. So what we're seeing at the moment is an extremely divided Egypt as these clashes continue to go into the night across the different uh, parts of the country as those you know, who basically support the military vow to come to the streets in celebration and those who want Mohamed Morsi to come back into power are saying they're not going to back down. So we're going to see how this progresses in the next few days. We're supposed to have a new constitution in the next week. We're supposed to have elections, but how that can possibly happen when this violence continues and escalates has yet to be seen. All right, I'll see Bell True live in Cairo. Bell, thank you very much indeed for that update. Thank you, I appreciate it.